Hi guys, welcome back to Pagefly video tutorial series. This is a new video in the series of videos named What Pagefly Can Do. In these videos, I will use Pagefly to build Shopify pages based on famous websites to show you capability of Pagefly. Today, I will guide you how to build an FAQ Frequently Asked Questions page based on the ME FAQ page. Let's take a quick look at the page. An FAQ, Frequently Asked Questions page, is an important component of a website as it provides quick access to information for visitors, increases trust and credibility, and showcases expertise on a particular subject, making it a valuable resource. So to get started, let's click on Create from Blank Page then select Page Type. So, IMI is using a font called Grand Slang that isn't supported by Pagefly. Not to worry though, I've got you covered. Let me show you how to upload a custom font and apply it to your Pagefly page so you can achieve the look you want. Now, we are on Pagefly dashboard. Click on Extra Functions. You will see uploaded fonts here. Click on the Upload Font button on the right. Choose your font. After that, access to global styles. Find font family here. Select your font family. Publish it. We are currently in the Pagefly page editor. And I am going to show you how to jazz up this section. Firstly, I will add to headings and to the section. On the General tab, we can easily add the content we want in this text box. Then, moving on to the Styling tab, I'll pick out a color that looks just right. Adjust the margin. After that, I'll scroll down and select the font family and font size. Text alignment and click on More Settings to adjust the font weight line height, and letter spacing. With this section section, I will choose the background color for section by clicking it. Move to the Styling tab. We can select background color here. With the second heading, do it the same as the first one. Here is the result. Next, let's drag and drop a heading and an accordion element into the new section. I will restyle the heading with the same process as the two headings above. Once you've selected the accordion element, you'll be able to access its parameters on the general tab. From there, you can change the icon here and adjust its alignment on the Styling tab. I choose the plus icon and place it on the right like this. After that, simply click on the accordion item to add content for each heading. To include paragraph elements within the accordion content, you can add them inside. Let's style them up. In this case, we have the same accordion item content so I will duplicate to save time. Now, just need to change their contents, easy right. On the next section, we have layout to columns. The left column will contain one heading and one button. To restyle the elements, switch to the Styling tab, style the heading the same headings above. By clicking on the button, you can change the content, color, and adjust everything on Styling tab. You can use the button to choose the mouse over state, and update the background and content to match the sample page. For more information about the button element, please refer to our description. I will add images in the right column. 
click on add element. I want to add three images here so I find content list. Drag and drop it here. Select your images. Adjust the style. All done. I drop a blank layout into a new section. Turn off the set fixed width and add an image element here. Then duplicate to five pictures in a row. You can add images such as the Instagram profile picture. For the middle image, you can use a click action function to redirect users to your social page such as Instagram. We've reached the end of our journey, time to check the live view. This is the button when in normal state, and when you hover the mouse over it, it changes. Amazing! Here is the link when you click on the middle image. This is the end of the video tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more new videos. Our friendly and knowledgeable team is available via live chat 24-7 to assist you with any issues you might encounter. Thanks for watching.